St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner, and I want to talk to you today about one of my favorite types of whiskey, Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey is not the most popular type of whiskey. Scotch definitely outpaces it, as well as bourbon and even rye, but it is catching up. Back in 2010, Ireland was only exporting about 60 million bottles of Irish whiskey per year. In 2019, that number had risen to 144 million, so that is significant growth. But it's also growth compared to Scotch. If you look at Scotch in 2010, Scotch was outpacing Irish whiskey by 470%. Now, if you take a look at the 2019 numbers, Scotch sales are only about 70% higher than Irish whiskey. So they're still way more popular, but Irish whiskey is definitely catching up. And there are some people that expect that by the end of the decade, it is going to be more popular than Scotch in the United States. And the United States is the biggest consumer of Irish whiskey. They make up about 42% of all of the Irish whiskey sales. Uh, before we get into the specifics of Irish whiskey, do you actually know how to spell it? Right? Whiskies are either spelled with an E or without an E. And that varies from whiskey to whiskey, but also country to country. Now, the trick that I use to remember this is to think about what country it comes from, and then does that country have an E in its name? If it has an E in its name, they also have an E in whiskey. So you think about it, United States and Ireland, those both have E's. And some other popular places where they make whiskey, Japan, Scotland, India, no E's. Now, this is not foolproof. It doesn't work for every single thing. But generally speaking, if there's an E in the name of the country, they're also going to be spelling their whiskeys with an E. Now, what makes an Irish whiskey an Irish whiskey? That is actually defined by Ireland through the Irish Whiskey Act of 1980, as well as some additional guidance from their Department of Agriculture. Now, let's take a look at a few of the things that make an Irish whiskey an Irish whiskey. You have the location, the ingredients, the strength, and the aging. As far as the location goes, it needs to be made in Ireland. Now, that can be the Republic of Ireland or Northern Ireland or some combination thereof, but it needs to be distilled and aged in Ireland. As far as ingredients go, it needs to contain malted barley. It can contain some other cereal grains, but malted barley is a must. As far as strength goes, it needs to be distilled to no more than 94.8% ABV and then bottled at no more than 40% ABV. That's 80 proof. If it's outside of those parameters, you cannot call it Irish whiskey. When it comes to aging, it needs to be a minimum of three years in wooden barrels. If it's anything less than that, you cannot call it Irish whiskey. As you can see, there aren't actually that many rules for what is considered an Irish whiskey, which actually leaves a lot up to the distiller. So think about the barrels, for example. The law does not specify what type of barrels they're going to be in. Contrast that to bourbon, which has to be done in new barrels. Irish whiskey can be done in new barrels or it can be done in pre-used barrels. Also, there's nothing in there about peat. Right, Scotch is famous for having a lot of peat in their scotches, but an Irish whiskey could be peated or unpeated. And there's actually some new distillers that are trying out peated Irish whiskeys because it hasn't really been popular until now. How much it is distilled is also something that is not in the legislation. Being triple distilled is something that Irish whiskeys are known for a lot, but it's not actually required in order to be called an Irish whiskey. And so even though you'll see triple distilled Irish whiskeys pretty often, they do not have to be triple distilled in order to be classified that way. Now let's talk about the four main types of Irish whiskey. These are actually defined by the Ireland Department of Agriculture. You have malt, pot still, grain, and blended. Malted whiskeys are going to be made with 100% malted barley and distilled in a pot still. And if you see a single malt whiskey in Ireland, that means that it's made from a single distillery. Pot still Irish whiskeys are going to be a minimum of 30% malted barley, a minimum of 30% unmalted barley, and up to 5% of other cereal grains. And those are all distilled in pot stills. And if you see a single pot still Irish whiskey, that means that it's made at a single distillery. Grained Irish whiskeys, on the other hand, can be no more than 30% malted barley. And then the rest of it is made up of other cereals. So that could be unmalted barley, that could be corn, or sometimes wheat. And those are usually made in column stills. And if you see a single grain Irish whiskey, that means it's made by a single distillery in Ireland. 
And then finally, you have blended whiskeys. Blended whiskeys are probably the most popular and well-known whiskeys. Jameson, for example, is a very famous blended whiskey. And those are a blend of the other types of whiskey. So what do Irish whiskeys taste like? Well, they vary actually pretty widely. They are well known, generally speaking, for being very smooth and fairly light, uh, light amber color. But because there is so much flexibility in how you can make your Irish whiskey as a distiller, there can be a wide variety. Uh, so you should definitely try a few different types. Uh, and there are a lot of distillers, especially now with the growing popularity, that are experimenting a little bit more than they used to. So how do you drink Irish whiskey? Well, there's a lot of different ways to drink it. One popular way to drink it is just on the rocks or straight. It's known for being, generally speaking, a very smooth whiskey. And so a lot of people are used to just having a Jameson on the rocks. But you can make some really great cocktails too with an Irish whiskey. Uh, here at Mainful in our cocktail recipe card deck, we actually feature Irish whiskey in a few different cocktails. Uh, one of the ones that is my personal favorite is the Blackthorn, which is kind of like a Manhattan made with an Irish whiskey instead of a rye. Um, so you've got that vermouth and those bitters and the Irish whiskey, and it's really, really a delicious cocktail. Go out, try different types of Irish whiskey. Um, obviously, the blended ones are the most popular, and those are the most common that you're going to see. But there's some really interesting stuff coming out, too, uh, in the single malt category or the pot still category. So you should definitely go out, try a few different things. We also have some recommendations for Irish whiskeys that you could try and put in cocktails on our website. If you want to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, Drinking some Irish whiskey is a great way to do that. So go out, buy some Irish whiskey, and start making drinks at home.